Hello, my name is Bill Wilson. I've created the video that you're about to watch for an assignment for my Asbury University 710 Leading, Teaching, and Learning class. The purpose of this video is to introduce myself by telling you about my professional journey towards becoming a school leader and my professional call to be a school leader. How did, I, how did you become a, a teacher and a school leader is the question that I've been asked many times. Well, as you will see, I've made many turns, twists and turns in my journey to become a school leader. My first career out of high school was that of a stud man on a local horse farm. My responsibilities as a stud man were to uh, groom my stallions, clean their barns and their stalls, and to help manage their behaviors of the stallion, the, manage the behaviors of the stallions and the mares during breeding activities which at times, as you can imagine, were very challenging uh, as they were may have been reluctant participants from time to time. The skills and knowledge that I gained as a stud man that will help me as a school leader included learning how to manage stressful situations and working effectively <clears throat> with others even when some of the participants are reluctant to participate. And number two, I learned to clean up messes and learn how to separate the clean straw from manure. I left my career as a stud man and went back to went to college and earned a bachelor's degree in agriculture economics and became a banker. As a banker, I was responsible for evaluating the credit worthiness of loans to farmers and for managing loan accounts. The skills that I gained as a banker that will help me as a school leader include making decisions based on data and financial management skills. I left banking because I wanted to help people in a different in a dif in a deeper way. So I returned to college and earned my master's degree in counseling psychology and became a master's level psychologist. As a master's level psychologist, I provided counseling services for adults with mental health is issues, including chemical dependency, and I worked 10 years with children with and adolescents with emotional and behavior problems. The skills and knowledge that I gained as a psychologist will help me as a school leader in the way such as I learned to be a good listener and also develop skills related to helping other people solve problems and help them solve their problems. For the last 11 years, I've worked as a special education teacher in a high school, Scott County High School, and primarily working with students with emotional and behavior disabilities. The skills and knowledge that I've gained as a special education teacher that will help me as a school leader, including man learning how to manage student behavior and learning the patient, having patience with others and myself because positive change takes time. My call to be a school leader is to work with students who are at high risk for dropping out of high school, including students with severe emotional and behavioral challenges. Along with the above skills that I've learned from my previous careers, I am gaining valuable knowledge and professional experience through my Asbury education. Thank you for taking the time to view this video and I hope that it has helped you get to know me better. 